Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Welcome to this English lesson where I'm going to talk about the past, the present, and the future. Uh, many of you have asked me to do a video about those verb tenses, uh, and I thought what I should do is go over five of the most important verbs that you need to know as an English learner. Uh, and just do an English lesson where I talk about those five verbs, but also give you some examples of how to use them in the past, the present, and the future. Hey, welcome to this video where we're going to look at the five most important verbs that you need to know as you learn English. But before we get started, if you are new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below. And for all of you, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up at some point while you are watching. The first verb I wanna look at is the verb to be. The verb to be is used to describe your state of being. Um, that's a kind of a complex definition, isn't it? But let's think about uh, the verb to be, and let's think about uh, being happy. So yesterday, I was happy. Right now, I am happy. And tomorrow, I will be happy, or I am going to be happy. You can use both interchangeably in English. So yesterday, I was happy. Right now, I am happy. Tomorrow, I will be happy, or I am going to be happy. The next verb is the verb to want. When you want something, you are expressing a desire for that thing. So usually I want ice cream. So yesterday I wanted ice cream. Right now I want ice cream. And tomorrow I will want ice cream or I am going to want ice cream. Um, I think though, usually I just want ice cream all the time. It's not that uh, good of a thing to want, but uh, it is tasty and yummy, isn't it? So, yesterday I wanted ice cream, right now I want ice cream, and tomorrow I will want ice cream, or I am going to want ice cream. So the next verb we're going to look at is the verb to go, uh, and this one's a little tricky, so pay attention. Uh, in the past tense, we would say, yesterday I went to the bank. The verb changes quite a bit when we put it in the past tense. So yesterday I went to the bank. Uh, but notice in the present, if I say right now or today, uh, I wouldn't say I go to the bank. It is grammatically correct. I would actually use the present continuous. I would say right now I am going to the bank or today I am going to the bank. So a little tricky with this verb. And then of course, tomorrow I will go to the bank or I am going to go to the bank. Sorry, I think the future is a little tricky too, isn't it? Tomorrow I am going to go to the bank. Notice I use the verb to go twice in that sentence to indicate something that will happen tomorrow. So that's the verb to go. Yesterday I went to the bank. Right now I am going to the bank. And tomorrow I will go to the bank or I am going to go to the bank. So the verb to like is our next verb. Uh, when you like something, it means that you enjoy it or you appreciate it. Uh, and we could say things like, yesterday I went to a movie and I liked the movie. You could say, right now I am watching a movie and I like the movie. And you could say, tomorrow I am going to go see a movie and I will like the movie or I am going to like the movie. Um, oftentimes we use the word like in the present tense uh, to talk about things we like in general. So you could say things like, I like cats, I like dogs, I like reading, I like movies. Uh, and these are great things to be able to say when you're starting to speak English. You want to be able to describe the things that you like. So this verb is super important because uh, when you get into that first English conversation, you're going to want to be able to talk about the things that you like. So the next verb is to have. Um, in its simplest form, when you have something, it means that you own it. So you could say things like, yesterday I had a car, right now I have a car, and tomorrow I will have a car or I am going to have a car. Maybe you're going to buy a car tomorrow. So tomorrow you will have a car or you are going to have a car. So once again, yesterday I had a car, 
right now I have a car and tomorrow I will have a car or I am going to have a car. Well, hey, that was five of the most important verbs that you need to know in English. There are more conjugations below. If you noticed all of my examples, I used the first person. I said things like I am or I have. Uh, but if you look below, you will find even more conjugations that you should look over and you should memorize. Bob the Canadian here. You're learning English with Bob the Canadian. Thanks again so much for watching and have a great day. And if you have time, why don't you stick around and watch another